Thomas Nelson has just released a design that I've been looking forward to for a while. A New King James large print wide margin reference Bible. They released it in the Premier Collection in black goatskin. And then two editions in imitation leather in black and brown. So it includes book introductions, verse by verse style reference formatting, 72,000 cross references, with a full set of New King James translator footnotes, full color maps, words of Christ in red, Smythe's own binding, 10.5 point font, and it's the New King James comfort print font. And there's the information there. Here's the brown. Now it does not look like imitation leather. It looks like leather. Looks elegant. Has a nice grain to it. Has some color variation. Both the brown and the black have similar styling. So there's the black. It looks like leather. Both have perimeter stitching. A debossed line, double line around the front. Holy Bible. Printed in gold. Then there's the spine on both. The black has a design. An elegant pattern. Then the brown is blank. Blank spots. Alright, so. Black has a gold and a black ribbon. And then the brown has a brown and gold ribbon with brown head tail bands and black head tail bands for the black. So both have a paste down liner. The black has gray with a coated paper liner and the, the liner works as the presentation page and then no other end sheets. The brown has a brown liner and it's the same. The overall size is seven and three quarter by nine and three quarter by one and a half and then let's weigh three pounds four point five ounces so this is about the size of a study bible a little bit wider than the standard study bible 36 gsm european paper the text block is the same as the goat skin with one difference. And I'll show you what that difference is in just a little bit. They are made in China using the typeface designed by 2K Denmark for the New King James. The paper is highly opaque. Now under direct light you might see a touch of glare but not much. Just enough to, to notice. Then we get into our text. 10.5 point font with about 10 words per line. Verse by verse. Section headings, chapter numbers, reference and footnote keys are in red, same as the book names. And then we have a book introduction. And then we have the pilot reference in the footer are also in red. So it's a double column, verse by verse, with references and footnotes in the footer. And then each book has a short introduction with the author, time that it was written, key verse and theme these are short a little bit smaller font than the text these are not line match but the text is and the text has a good amount of space between the lines this is comfortable to read comfortable to see easy to preach from i find that the red footnote and reference keys are easier to ignore than black i like that a little bit smaller inner margin than what many would like but there's a reason for that and i'll go over that in just a second so we have almost an inch and a quarter outer margin about five eighths inner margin and about a, a about a half inch bottom margin so this is not not a lot of margin down here most of your margin is going to be on the outside the purpose of this design is for those who don't need a lot of space for notes and would prefer to have a larger print there's enough inner margin for some small notes you might get a reference in there you might get a symbol in there but you're not going to get anything extensive but you're not really going to get a lot of extensive out here either um, you can get some bullet points you can get some word definitions that sort of thing and then we have a poetic setting the poetry in this is beautiful they've done their poetry right 10 words per line gives them enough enough line width 
to create that poetry, that poetic setting. But rather than poetry just going as far as it can go and then cutting underneath the line, they break it in good places. It makes the most sense. I like that. Across the top, we have the book name, chapter number, verse number. Just over the outer margin, coming out into the outer margin. And then in the center, we have the page number. This is a red letter text. Now, the section headings and the chapter numbers, and all, th these are all bold. So they stand out really well. There's another look at the poetry. And as you can see, books start on a new page. So we have a lot of... A lot of pages with some extra space. This paper is easy to grab and turn. Excellent. Then here's a red letter. Now this red is not quite as bold as that red. The reason for this is that is bold and this is semi-bold. And that's good enough. That, that's a good dark red. I love that red. They've done this design right. So you can see you're not going to get a whole lot of information in the inner margin, but that's okay. You don't need the most space in every Bible. It's a, it's a balance. It really comes down to what, what would you prefer? Do you prefer extra space or do you prefer large print? In this case, it's designed for those who prefer the large print. Now, I've preached from this. I love preaching from it. I don't really need a lot of space for notes. So this works for me. Red letter in the book of Revelation. Then our concordance. So yeah, that's a, that's a good looking text. I love that text. That's done well. The red's easy to read. Old Testament quotes are not an oblique type. They've gone away from that. That does stand out when they do that, but I understand why they don't do that now. Because it's kind of confusing to see italics and then to see the oblique because they look very similar. Here's an italic for supplied words. They do look similar. I do like when Old Testament quotes stand out a little bit. But I'm not sure the best way to do that without emphasizing it over the rest of the text. They do include it in the the references, so that, that helps. This is a large concordance. It includes names of people and places. I like it when they include names. So this is excellent concordance for preaching, for sermon prep, for personal study. This paper is easy to turn. Three columns per page. The entries are in red. I like that. Looks good. Here's how many references they have for God. Starting here. All the way down over to the next page. That's a good amount for research for study then we get into a one year reading plan now I have to beat someone up over this just for a minute let me beat you up just for a minute they made this plan in, in 2020 I think and what happens in 2020 is we have a leap year so they give us a February 29th reading which means every which means three years out of every four the reading plan has to be altered. I would prefer to do it the other way around. I would prefer to have February 28th and then have the 29th be a catch-up day or be a free day. But that's me. But I understand why they did this. It's, it's easy to not really pay attention to that. But we have the, uh, the month, the date, a morning reading in the New Testament, an evening reading in the Old Testament. Taking you through the Bible in one year. Then we have our maps. This is a, I would call this semi-gloss paper. Not too shiny, but just a little. They're colorful. 
There are there are eight maps. They're not um, they're annotated well. They they do not include an index. I'd like to see an index, but that's me being picky. But there's a lot of information here. Elevation. Borders, routes, battles, dates, events. There's a lot of good information. Both of the paste down liners stay open with no problem. So there's this one open in Genesis on the first page. No trouble at all. Doesn't try to fight me, doesn't try to close. So let's compare this to the Premier Collection. So there's the brown and the black. The Premier Collection comes in a nice sturdy box and it comes wrapped as all Premier Collections do. This one is goat skin with Premier stitching. One, two, three, four, five raised hubs and then our text stamped in gold and these are small to be a little bit understated now this one does have a strong smell to it it's a lot less than when i first got it when i first got it it was it was very strong and very noticeable and you open it up and everybody in the house knew uh it it has dissipated but i can still smell it and then we have a leather liner edge lined with a gilt line all the way around the perimeter Smith sewn. This one has three ribbons, two black and one red. And the difference between the text block between the imitation and the goat skin is that the goat skin the goat skin has overcast stitching. Not sure if that will show up on camera, but right there is a line of stitching. It goes all the way down in the front. So we have overcast stitching. This is only in the goat skin edition and, and only in the front. The imitation leather does not have it. And how this opens, this one has an actual presentation page with one end sheet, one thicker end sheet, plus, well, plus the glued sheet. These are glued on purpose. Don't try to open those. That's tab is there and this one is is uh, it opens up fairly well so here it is in Genesis stays open on its own doesn't try to close easy enough to teach and preach from paper is the same easy to grab and turn white in color this is excellent paper for writing I have not written in it though and the reason for that is I want to be careful about writing in them I don't want to just write to be writing and then also this one has art gilt edging it's not a dark red but it is a red it is art gilt now the size for this one is 8 by Ten. Now I'm giving you the overall size, and the reason for that is because if you need to buy a case, that's what you need. And this has a touch of a yap, but not a lot, just a little bit of a yap, about an inch and a half, a oh, little, little over maybe, inch and five eighths, close to it. And the goat skin weighs three pounds, eight point eight ounces. Everything else is the same. The main difference being goat skin with edge lining, with the presentation page with three ribbons and with overcast stitching. So let's see how this compares to several other Bibles. So here's a look at the New King James Wide Margin from Cambridge in Calf Split. You can get this in any color you want as long as it's black. So here is how they compare. Footprint is the same. We're so close it's <laughs> it's the same. The difference is the thickness. The, the Thomas Nelson is a quarter inch thicker. Other than that, the footprint is the same. Paper in the Cambridge is 38 GSM compared to the 36 GSM in the Thomas Nelson. 
and there's a difference in in the design Cambridge also is a 7.8 point font versus the 10 and a half also the Cambridge is paragraph while the Thomas Nelson is verse by verse and here's how they compare And let's take a look at the red, because both are red letter editions. So there's how the red compares in both. The Cambridge also has pages in the back. I would love to see pages in the back of pretty much any Bible. Let's zoom back out so we can see this a little better. The Cambridge also has some uh, pages for your index. Notebook paper, actual notebook paper. This is not, this is not 38 GSM. This is, I don't know the GSM, but that's that's thick paper. And then there's the maps. This one is also a paste down liner. But yeah, that's that's how the footprint looks. They're the same footprint. Another I want to compare to just for reference to get an idea of the size is the Canterbury from Scholar. So here's how they compare, and this one, of course, being the KJV. Eventually, they they may make it in New King James, and for that reason, I'm going to give you a comparison. So these are hard to hold, actually. So we have the um, the scholar is not as wide, but it's thicker, noticeably thicker. Thicker paper, measuring close to 40 GSM. But this one is a 9.5 point font versus the 10.5 point font. Here's how they compare. And let's compare red letter. Here's how the red compares. The Scholar also has paper in the back for notes. Now, it has a large concordance, but it's a very, very small print. It's really hard to use. So it's got thick extra paper, extra thick paper back there for notes. And then the Scholar maps. Some of my favorite maps. Another Bible that it's similar to is the New King James verse by verse center column reference in the Premier Collection. This is one of my favorite Bibles. And here's how the footprint compares. Thickness is up close to the same, but then we have an extra inch, maybe a little more, maybe an inch and a half more. Inch and a half more on the width. Let's see, here's how they compare. Both are beautiful Bibles. I love both Bibles. Excellent and elegant. Here's how they compare. For the red letter. how the black letter looks if you just want a center column reference verse by verse New King James that right there that right there is really high on my list I love that Bible and now the Bible that I think is the most similar to the New King James preaching Bible and I'll show you why I think it is similar Almost same thickness. The main difference is the preaching Bible does not include a concordance or maps. 
quality wide margin does and it has an inch and inch and a quarter wide inch and a quarter wider and that is taken up by margin space here's how they compare why I think it is the most similar is because I think the preaching Bible was the starting point for the wide margin. Now this is its, its own design. It's a new design. It's its own design. But I think they used the preaching Bible as a starting point and then created the wide margin from it. And here's how they compare. I'm not saying that it is that. It is a different pagination. They don't look the same. The reason for that is because the wide margin has book introductions while the preaching Bible does not. So I think what they've done is they've added, and you can see how the text looks similar here. I think they've just added the book introductions, which pushes the page down. And then also both have 10 words per line, and it looks like the same font, looks like the same line spacing. But they have adjusted the lines where they need to for the poetic settings to make all the page line line up correctly. Which, in my opinion, is a wise decision because the Preaching Bible is one of the best designs out there. Also, they've gone to red rather than blue for the highlights. And in my opinion, that's better. I do like the blue a lot. But I'm more drawn to the red. One thing I do like about the Preaching Bible is it has um, blue for the verse numbers while the wide margin does not. They're just black. I wouldn't mind seeing these turned into change to red that would look nice but you might have too much red you can get away with that easier in a bible that's black letter so that's a quick look at the new king james large print wide margin i love these bibles they're done well they're not ideal for someone who wants to have extensive notes if that's your goal this bible is not for you this is ideal for those who want to have a large print with a little bit of note space. Basically, to take the preaching Bible and add note space to it. <laughs> that's really what it is. And if that's what you're looking for, this, this is ideal for you. If you don't need large print and you need more space, then you know wait for a different Bible. But um, this is not designed for that person. This is designed for the person, like me, that actually prefers a little bit larger print. And doesn't really need a lot of, of wide margin space. Now if you would like some information about marking in them. Then take a look at my book. Easy Bible Marking Guide. It's available on Kindle and in print on Amazon. I'll place a link in the notes. I'm also updating my book. How to Choose and Use a Wide Margin Bible. And I will be using these Bibles in that book. So it will include information about how to use the margins. As well as marking the text. But it won't be a repeat of Easy Bible Marking Guide. So that way you can still buy both. Just, you know, just in case you want to buy both. If you'd like to see the written review, take a look at BibleBuyingGuide.com. I'll leave a link in the notes where you can see that. Where I have uh, lots of photos and more detail. Thomas Nelson did supply these in exchange for an honest review. And I think these are great Bibles. I don't think they're ideal for everyone. The reason for that, not everyone wants... A large print some some would prefer to have a larger margin if you don't need a lot of margin space and you still want a large print buy these buy this one between the the, the bibles can't go wrong with either i recommend starting if you've never used a wide margin before i recommend starting with the cheaper one because you can buy these on christian book for uh, well when i checked it was 38 dollars. that's amazing that is completely amazing so start with this one and then upgrade to this one later. The only difference between them is the overcast stitching. And you know that, that is helpful. It, it's not a deal breaker. So I'll place a link in the notes where you can make a purchase if you're interested. And thanks for watching. <laughs>